Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. I'm Bushka on Blitz, and this is a really, well, this is a video about a bit of a juxtaposition. The difference between awesome and epic. The <laughs> This first video is great, okay? This is a very lovely Chieftain game, a Chieftain T95 game. Not to be confused with the Chieftain Mark VI, which is currently doing the rounds at T10. And then the second game is a Waffle Tractor game. Uh, the reason I wanted to show, this is the Chieftain, okay, in a position that is absolutely its bread and butter. And I love this game because this is how you should drive tanks, like the Chieftain, the Centurion, the uh, Centurion 7 Mark I, the Chieftain Mark VI, the... Anything that's got a bit of gun depression and a solid turret, the T-34, the T-32, the, uh, any tank that can get the gun depression working over that top hill will flourish and thrive when positioned in this. And this could be possibly the most overpowered position in the entire game for that particular style of tank. Because so many of the positions that the tanks find themselves in uh, where they do well in that kind of situation uh, when the other team just drives steadily into them. But this, this position actually allows you to, to be centre field and to control the flow of the action. And this is a lovely blend, this game, of aggression and intelligence. Pepper 2001M in the Chieftain. Uh, coming off the edge of that hill, but not overexposing, not once. Like you can see, there's five tanks left. There's only that are spotted on the minimap. There's only one tank missing, uh, and Pepper is in a really solid situation here, using what is a very limited armor profile, an armor profile that works best when hull down and moving slightly, and basically giving very, very few options to the red team. Uh, and that's exactly what Pepper's doing. The first time that Pepper is exposed and overexposed, and this is what I love about good driving. This is using the tank as it's meant to be. The second game is a waffle tractor that dominates on Himmelsdorf and does it without just sitting at the back of the map hiding behind heavies. And it's one of the better drives that I've seen. Uh, and I'm gonna show that to you and I was really impressed with it. You might not be so impressed with it, I don't know, but I thought it was a really interesting game and I wanted to highlight that with this because you can see Pepper's done some very very good things here but Pepper has done exactly what you would do if you wanted to pick and choose how the Chieftain T95 played on this map it's excellent it's not uh, passive at all it's been very very aggressive and has traded away some hit points, but has done an awful lot of damage at two and a half thousand damage already, uh, and about to switch up towards 3,000 damage with a 1,050 damage block. So you know that Pepper is absolutely doing the business, watching the map, making sure that everything is tickety-boo. And now this spot again, like he's now in the, the mayor's office again, front and center, right in the middle of the map, Pumping up over 3,200 3, damage now. Hull down versus his Type 58, who has no gun depression and absolutely no chance of winning that one. Black Prince is great, all well and good, but I mean, this is a tier eight heavy with a great gun and only has to get through 76 hit points. So you'd have to back the Chieftain in this situation of those two on the left. The guy on the right though, that's a full health IS-3 and that can be tough, that can be tough. Pepper's now up at three and a half K. To get this done, Pepper is going to need to run somewhere in the vicinity of 5,000 damage. Now this is a very lucky bounce. That's an AP shell in the side of a Chieftain. That should have gone in. I have no idea why that didn't go in. But RNGs is smiling upon Pepper and that 58 with the complete lack of gun depression is in trouble. Now up until now, Pepper's been able to manufacture excellent armor profile because Pepper's been hull down behind ridges and fighting on slopes. Now you're gonna see a different style of play from the Chieftain. That IS-3 does not have very good gun depression. If Pepper can get up close and personal and make the IS-3 only have shots at the turret and the upper glacis, 
then Pepper can get this done. And that's exactly what Pepper's doing. Look at that. Every single time a shot gets squeezed off, Pepper is straight back in there like a bull at a gate, refusing to give that IS3 defender an easy shot. And I love this gameplay for it. It was brilliant when there was just a solid effort on top of the hill, but I don't like the too easy at the end. That is a little bit arsy for me, Pepper. Behave yourself. But 5,223 damage. Kolobinov, Steel Wall, uh, five kills for the Radley Walters, high caliber, top gun, the mastery badge. Not much more needs to be said. That's obviously an excellent game, and it's played to the strengths of the tank. And that's lovely. When you get on a map where you know that there is a predisposition to your tank in Spot X, and you can get to Spot X, you feel very comfortable, and everything's going to come out good. What about when Spot X doesn't exist? What about when you're in a waffle tractor, one of the most lightly armored tanks in the entire game, and you are on Himmelsdorf, which is a corridor fight that doesn't possess a whole lot of elevation uh, and has very, very few areas where you can go and hide and still get effective shots off, where you've got to spot your own targets. Well, that's what we're gonna say. Uh, that's what we're looking forward to here with the game from Tomcap, Tomcap, <laughs> Tomcat 0024. Tomcat, most inspirational leader of the gang. Oh my goodness gracious me. Take me back to my childhood. Which never really ended, if I'm honest. <laughs> Tomcat's Cat Face. Uh, <laughs> Tomcat's Cap C and is now capping D. Tomcat does not know what a waffle track is for, obviously. Tomcat is now going to try to tunnel down here. Sneaks a big shot in on that Ferdinand monstrously large shot and takes very little damage in return. Resets the camo and is super aggressive here. Just frontlining in a waffle tractor on Himmelsdorf. Now this is a smart move because you can see if you look uh, to Tomcat's right on the western front, there are a huge number of red tanks. There are five red tanks in all. Two red tanks have stuck over here, the TDs, and they've stayed here regardless of the fact that the rest of the team's gone the other direction, which is pretty poor play in my opinion. They've left themselves wide open. And Tomcat is using something that a lot of people don't know the Waffle Tractor has. And that's a very, very mobile profile. Uh, it can get about the place quite comfortably. And it traverses very well for ATD. Now he's waiting here, but he's gonna punch that Waffle. The Waffle's gonna punch him. Yeah, he does. Smacks the Yag as he comes around that corner. And it's now five tanks on four. Just as well they haven't mucked around too much because the KV-4, uh, who you can see at the top of the map there, and the IS-6 are literally getting swamped by red tanks. And Tomcat's cleared so much around it. Oh, it's a massive, massive big hit. He is again gonna push out to that front line. He's pulling back when he doesn't have one in the pants, but when it's ready to go, when it's ready to rock, He's out there again and into it, and he's now finally assuming the role of a standard waffle tractor, farming damage off the tier eight heavy, the KV-4 over there. Unlucky bounce on that Lerva, but he doesn't miss him the second time, and he is absolutely now laying out the big bopping. Three and a half thousand damage already. There are three tanks left, the T-54E1, the Lerva, and the IS-3. There's two tanks left. <laughs> <laughs> Slurver, he gone. 4,000 damage for Tomcat. To get this done, he's going to have to roll some massive big numbers. The defender's pushing forward, and well, he should. But Tomcat does a very, very clever thing here. He hits the defender once, and he risks taking another shot, but he absolutely plays that aggressive style that means that defender can't come out now because he's a one-shot. If he wants to hit Tomcat... He's going to have to expose himself. So Tomcat's very, very interesting here. This is, he's more than aware that there's a T-54E1. He's reset the camo. No one knows where anyone is on the map right now. But he's expecting the E1 to flank him and come up this side of the map. And he wants to get out there ahead of trouble. The E1 though, absolutely goes bizarro and pushes round right in front of him. Wow, 
<laughs> wow, 800 roll. He max rolled an AP shell in the E1, and what should have been what an average 640 roll, leaving the E1 to be an easy two shots, uh, has turned into a possible high roll single shot kill. Let's see if he can do it. No, he low low rolls. So the E1 has really got him on skates here. He's gonna he's got to decide what he's gonna do now. The smart play is to take out the defender not the E1, and he does it because the E1 is on a full reload as an auto loader. That is such a clever bit of tanking. He didn't push round into the tier nine tank. He pushed into the tier eight and he's now got him on the reload. This is excellent work. And because Tomcat capped those two tanks, those two caps earlier, and they got ahead on points. Yeah, baby. 6,603 damage in a waffle tractor on Himmelsdorf. Playing it like an absolute boss, frontlining when he had to, making really good decisions. Got lucky with an 800 roll, but you know what they say, luck is when opportunity meets preparation. And he did all the right moves before that to set himself up for what was an improbable victory at best. I mean, that is a very, very, very nice Kolobinov. Himmelsdorf is a tough map for waffles and grills. Playing it usually takes either a lot of luck or a lot of smarts. And I think the smarts was definitely in the ascendancy there. I enjoyed that replay tremendously. I really, that tickled my fancy, that one. So well done, Tomcat0024. A lot of good moves there. Wasn't shy in uh, in asking the question. Flanked a Yag Tiger in his own spawn as a, as a very lightly armored TD because he paid attention to that minimap and saw where the bad guys were uh, and basically just picked up his team and carried them on his shoulders. As always, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, the agony and the ecstasy of World of Tanks Blitz. I'm Bushka. Look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.